Hello gang and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over the top 10 theme park soundtracks I like to vibe to, you know, just sit there and vibe to, of course, it's not Nemesis, that's shit. However, today we're going to be over the top 10 theme park soundtracks, in my opinion, mainly these are the ones I've actually been to and had to experience in the area. So don't be expecting some random Chinese banger from like, I don't know, Fuji Q, because unfortunately I've not been there and been able to experience the vibe that it gives off in the area. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I just want to quickly take this moment to please ask you to subscribe. As I said, we're on the road to 200 subs, so if you could really help me out, that would be really appreciated. But without further ado, let's actually get into the video. So, in no particular order, at number one, we have WWTP Radio. Now, this is not necessarily like the classic theme park soundtrack, but it's just, I just love it so much, really. I mean, you can't really describe the feeling you get when you just see a stealth train shoot past and you're just listening to Mr. Sandman. You know, it's like the least intimidating thing ever, but it, it, has, it just fits the area so well. And of course, it just gives it so much personality. And of course, you can have a little dance listening to some absolute 1950s bangers. But also, all over that, you can't just beat that one old man that's absolutely just bopping the moves off listening to WWTP radio. Now, at number two, we have Oblivion. Now, Oblivion's soundtrack is something I'd imagine if I went back around about 30 years into some sort of nightclub. And of course, it just fits into X Sector so well. I mean, you know, it just builds up the anticipation in the queue line for Oblivion, um, especially when, you know, the guy that's just, you know, casually saying, yeah, the ride's safe and you're all dead, but you know. You're nearly at the point of no return. Hasta la vista, baby. Wow. Apart from that, the, the soundtrack really helps for the, to build up the anticipation and the fear for Oblivion. I mean, apart from what I just said, I haven't really got much else to say. Apart from, it's just a masterpiece. Now, at number three, we have Top Thrill Dragster's soundtrack. Now, you may be saying, wait a minute, you're English. You said you ain't doing international park. Well, as a matter of fact, Cedar Point is actually one of the few parks I've been to outside of the UK. And let me tell you, Top Thrill Dragster's soundtrack is an absolute banger, and I know I keep saying this a lot, but of course, it just builds up anticipation for the ride so well. I mean, of course, it just keeps repeating, baby, I'm ready to go. So where else would you be ready to go, apart from 400 feet up into the air? Number four, we have 13. Now, 13 soundtrack is a very interesting soundtrack. As I said, it's meant to be quite spooky. This, of course, builds up anticipation for the ride. What else was I ever going to say? Now, as I said, 13, based on a dark forest and it's very spooky. However, whenever I think of 13 soundtrack, it just sounds like someone with severe diarrhea. Oh, you're right there, son. It sounds like you're having a quite a bad experience in the toilet there. Yes, lad, I'm just sorry, listening to the 13 soundtrack. Absolute banger, though. But besides the fact that it does also sound like wet diarrhea, I do also like the little countdown going through the little soundtrack as it goes. It goes from like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes 13, a little jump scare scream. And then of course, you know, the first time riders absolutely shit themselves and it's brilliant. We're all having a good laugh. Now at number five, we've got the old Colossus soundtrack. Now, the old Colossus soundtrack has just got something about it. It's just, I, I think, it just takes me back, really, to the first time I went to Fort Park, and I went to Colossus, and I had a great ride. Um, despite the uh, the concussion I picked up, it was actually quite a good ride, and uh, queuing up for the ride, I felt the old Colossus soundtrack booming down, and as I said, it built up anticipation. Hey, we said it again, but as I said, it just, I oh know it's just it's just something about the old Colossus soundtrack, and I f personally I prefer the old Colossus soundtrack. I feel it feels nice and more intimidating, you know, what it should be for this great big ride. But uh, yeah, it's just something about the old Colossus soundtrack that I just love, so I put it in the list. So you've come to the end of the video. I know I said ten, but of course this is gonna just gonna be part one. If you want part two, be sure to comment it down below, and of course I'll be sure to make that for you. But yes, it is the end of the video. I really did hope you enjoy that. Me counting down my obviously top 10, but five this video, um, top theme park soundtracks I just love. Uh, I know for no apparent reason, I just find them great. And of course, let me know your top five 
theme park soundtracks down in the comments below. I'll be reading them down, so be sure to comment them down below. But without further ado, I've been Speckhead. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Moving fret.